Welcome to the truth, gay, good day. Okay, is it okay to be gay in Australia? That's what I'm trying to say. Now some of those words rhymed, and that's half the journey to truth done. Let's see about the gay marriage debate in Australia. Can you be gay anywhere? Can you be married anywhere? We'll work it out. This is some truth. Same-sex marriage, uh, Bruce, what do you think Bill Shorten's actually achieved today uh, by introducing this private member's bill now? Well, he's made it absolutely clear that you know, Labor is on the side of giving a conscience vote. I don't want to be racist against Australia, hello Australians, but like, for me, like, I like the way their, their news even seems a bit more. Okay, Bruce, what the, f what the hell are we going to do about same-sex marriage? I mean, gays, does it matter? Uh, everything, it's like a country made out of Essex. Graham, do you agree with that? No, I think this is one of the most insensitive cons I have seen in politics. Bloody hell. <laughs> he must have lived a sheltered life. <laughs> There's insensitive cons going on in politics all the time. Now, we know Australian people are forward-thinking, liberal, radical, cool people. But they're politicians. They're like politicians everywhere. Well, I suppose the leader of the opposition seems to be on the side of gay marriage. But this person, a former politician, has got some fascinating views on gay marriage. The trigger was a vote in Ireland. You know, I love the Irish. And half the par parliament's full of Irishmen. But, you know, these are people who can't <laughs> grow potatoes. Ooh, bit insensitive there. <laughs> Casual reference to the uh, potato famine where uh, Britain forcibly starved the people of Ireland. Just casually throw that into a, like, a debate about homosexuality and gay marriage. Well, gay marriage. Let's start by digging out the fucking Irish. They've starved to death, so should we trust them? Hold on a minute, may you stay focused? They, you know, they've got a mutant um, lawn weed as their national symbol. Oh, the shamrock, fucking hell, he's lucky he's Australian and not English. That's a really heavy weight of laying the Irish there. And they can't verbalise the difference between a tree and the number three. Yeah, they can't say three or tree, Oscar Wilde. What was he like, the fucking pansy? I mean, it's a country for puffs, shamrocks, frees, trees. Oh, what? Is, is this, like, sometimes I think the Australians are joking, like that uh, minister, Jacoby Pipkin, the guy that didn't want Johnny Depp's dogs brought over. You sort of think, are you a character? Is this actually Barry Humphreys? Good eye! <laughs> sort of mad, elaborate piece of character comedy. Is your whole parliamentary system some sort of bizarre theatre of character comics. Oh no, absolutely none of us are real. I came up with the character of Tony Abbott one night while drunk, vomiting shrimps into a bar bed. You don't think the electorate's ready? No, I don't think the electorate marriage? is ready. How do you, Parts of the electorate are ready. How do you arrive at that position though, with all the polls? Look, you run around Queensland, run around the bush, New South Wales, run around most of, it, most of Western Australia, run around Tasmania. Bloody long run. <laughs> <laughs> run around, it's a massive country. I've run around Australia, run around the bush, run around Tasmania. Mm, you must have a gorgeous ass. Shame can't do a gay marriage. So you look at the they national are. polls. The national polls. But show this, this is going to be overwhelming this is going to be divisive. <laughs> divisive? Are you reading that off your head? It's going to be divisive. What is this? And half the Labor Party's not ready. I think you should be allowed. Guys, the public's not ready. You're out of order, Bruce! <laughs> That's the most Australian thing I've ever seen. There's a lot of people in the Labour Party are not going to swallow this. Well, they might have to swallow it. 
on their honeymoon night. That's the kind of joke you can expect from me, old Russ, on the True World Order 2. I'm coming to Australia, I'm going to be in Perth, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. I'm coming there in October. Look in the description box. The description box? I'm not looking in the description box. People aren't ready to look in the description box. It's a terrifying idea. <laughs> Careful in that description box. Go in there, uh, click on the link. You can. Uh, here is the link. Look, there it is. Uh, but if you want to click directly on it and come and see me on True World Order Tour in October in Australia, you can can. Thank you Australians, do have a debate on homosexuality, do come and see me, get gay married, be, like, like, why shouldn't everyone have access to the misery of marriage? We all should. That's some true news. Subscribe here. <laughs>